and welcome to today's video. So this is going to be our showbiz news. This is everything that's happened in the wonderful world of sh showbiz this week. So moving on, we have some very exciting things that's happened this week. But first of all, we have to start on something which is a little bit more upsetting. Let's start off with some sad news and unfortunately Adam West has died this week. He played the original Batman in both the film and in the TV series. And for me, who is a big Marvel and Batman fan, it was pretty upsetting to find out that the original Batman had sadly passed away. So for so many people out there, they have classed... Adam West as an absolute legend and not only did he play Batman he played himself in Family Guy and he was also in Fairly Odd Parents so he has been a big influence on a very wide range of um, age ranges around people so for me I was pretty upset when Adam West died both Ben Affleck and Val Kilmer, who have played Batman previously at different times had tweeted their respects and I'm sure that the hero himself will live on throughout Moving on to movie news and Despicable Me 3 is being released in June the 30th which I'm so excited for because I love Despicable Me. I love the minions and unicorns and all sorts so I'm so excited to watch this film. It's the third one in the series and I've got a little synopsis as to what happened so I'm going to read it out so bear with me. So Gru faces off against Bartzi the Brat, a former child star who has grown up to become obsessed character he played with in the, in the 1980s. He gets into some sibling rivalry when he meets his long list charming, cheerful and most successful, successful Dr Drew who wants to team up with him for one last criminal heist to steal the diamond that Brat has stolen. So surprisingly, Steve Carte actually plays both Dr. Drew and Dr. Gru, which for me is crazy and still can't get my head around like how does he film that? But yeah, he's playing both characters. I watched a really funny interview a couple of weeks ago with him talking about his daughter and playing Dr. Drew and plot Dr. Gru. If I can find it, I'm gonna insert it here now because honestly it's one of the funniest clips I've ever seen. But yeah. Pharrell Williams is also on the soundtrack for Despicable Me 3 and I am so excited because the video for Yellow Forever is amazing. They have minions and it's just amazing. It's just got minions and everything. So Pharrell Williams, wherever he comes up with his video ideas, seems to like really have a creative mind and I cannot wait to watch that video over and over again. For any Walking Dead fans out there, it was a pretty heartbreaking moment for you when you found out that they actually killed Travis off. Now, for some people, they were quite glad that they killed Travis off and hoped that they would kill Madison off as well. But for others, it was pretty gutting. As you can see from some of the tweets that I found, people were heartbroken that they'd killed Travis off. For myself, I just thought it was a boring death and... Yeah, I mean, I'm not too bothered. I mean, I, I wish they'd have, you know, not killed him off, but they have done. But it was a bit of a boring death. <laughs> Orange is the New Black has finally been released and I'm honestly so excited to watch it. I can't wait to find out what happens to all of the inmates in Litchfield Prison from Season 5 and will we finally get an answer to that cliffhanger that they left us on? It's been too long. And that's it for showbiz news today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe. It's free and it means a lot to us all. Press the little bell button down below so that you can keep up to date for when we upload new videos. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time.